Hello guys, today in this video, I will discuss about the NG model. So, first of all, we have to know what is the NG model. So, NG model used to bind the value of an input element and it comes from forms module that is inbuilt function of Angular. So, let's see the example. So, I will open Visual Studio Code and here you can see I already opened home component.html file, home component.ts file and app module.ts file. So, before using NG model, we have to import forms module because it comes from forms module. So, I will go to the app module.ts file here and I will import forms module. So, import curly brackets and into the curly brackets, I will write a forms module. So, F is the capital and M is the capital of forms module. From inverted comma and at the rate angular forms and at the end of the line, I will write a semicolon to separate this line. And I will copy this forms module and I will scroll the page. And here you can see imports array. So I will import here forms module and I will write a comma and I will press Ctrl S to save. Now I will go to the home component.html file and here I will create an input element. So input type is text. And now I will write a ng model. So, the syntax of ng model is square brackets and the parenthesis and ng model. M is the capital of ng model and equals to and I will write a variable to bind the input element. The in variable name is input 1. You can write any name of this variable and the end tag of this input. So, I will copy this variable input 1. And I will go to the home component.ts file and I will scroll the page. You can see here is the ng on in it. So below the ng on in it, I will paste this variable input one and I will set the type is string and equals to double inverted comma because when we assign a string value, then we use double inverted comma and the value is welcome you can write any value and at the end of the line i will write a semicolon to separate this line and i will press ctrl s to save and now i will go to the browser and here you can see here is the input element and the value is welcome so ng model help to bind the value of input element so here is the string value and the same way you can assign a number value also so i will go to the visual studio code again and here i will write a br tag to break this line and now I will create another input element. So input type is text and the ng model so the syntax is square brackets and the parenthesis ng model m is the capital equals to and the variable is input 2. You can write here any variable name and the end tag. So, I will copy this variable input 2 and I will go to the home component.ts file here and I will paste this variable input 2 and I will set the type of this variable is number equals to and the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You can write here any number and press semicolon to separate this line and you can see I did not use double inverted comma because this is the number. So, I will press ctrl s to save. And I will go to the browser again and you can see here is the input element and this is the number. And now I will show the value of this input element to click function. That means suppose here is the button and when I will click the button and it will show the value of the input element. So I will go to the Visual Studio code again and here I will add a br tag to break the line. And now I will create another input element. So, input type is text and square brackets and parenthesis and I will write a ng model. So, m is the capital of ng model equals to double inverted comma and I will write a variable. The variable name is input 3. You can write here any name of the variable and the end of the input tag and here is the br tag again. And now I will create a button. So, button type button and the button name is click 
you can write here any name of the button and now i will add a click function to the button so the parenthesis click equals to double inverted comma and i will write a function so the function name is my function you can write here any name of the function and now i will copy this input three variable and i will go to the visual studio code and here i will paste this input three variable and colon and i will set the type of this variable is string and uh, equals to i will set the empty value of this variable so now i will go to the html file again and i will copy the function my function and in a home component.ts file i will paste this my function and the curly brackets and now i will define the function so this we use this keyword in angular so this dot the input three variable equals to double inverted comma and i will assign the value is welcome and the semicolon to separate this line and i will press ctrl s to save so that means first of all this variable value is empty and when i will click the my function then it will display the value is welcome so i will go to the home component html file and here i will press ctrl s to save also and now i will go to the browser and you can see here is the input element and here is the button so when i will click this button here it will display the value of this input element so i will click the button and you can see here is the value is welcome so here you can see the ng model help to bind the value of the input element so hope guys this video is helpful to you so if you like this video then subscribe the channel and press the notification bell icon to get more videos of angular